Welcome to the tutorial on rendering a video. In this tutorial, we will learn about render panel and setting, resolution, frames per second, and keyframe, setting directory for render, video and audio file formats, render a video and create an output file, Create a render preset for dimensions. We will also learn about few shortcut keys. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 18.04 OS and Blender 2.90.1. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Blender interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have opened the Blender video editing interface. Click on file open. I have saved the input project file in my videos folder. From the videos folder, choose render.blend file. Click on open to open the project. The project consists of an edited video. Let's render it to create an output file. Notice the sidebar or information panel on the right side of the sequencer panel. If you do not see it, press the N key to display it. In the Strips tab, scroll down to the Source section. If needed, click on the arrow on the left to show the options and scroll down. Notice that the resolution or pixel size of the input video is shown here. In the Scene panel on the top right, Click on the output properties. The name is seen as a tooltip. I will make the panel a little larger for clarity. Click, hold and drag on the side as seen here. Learner must familiarize themselves with the icon function and tooltip. Notice that we can change the resolution while rendering. Place the cursor on the form for resolution X to see a two direction arrow. Click hold and move to change the value. I will match the resolution of the output file to that of the input. You may also enter a number using the keyboard. Let's change the resolution in X and Y dimensions as seen here. They are pixel height and width of the video. Scroll down to notice the FPS or frames per second as 2. I will retain it. Scroll down to the output section. If needed, click on the arrow on the left to see the options. Click on the folder icon on the right. A dialog box opens. Navigate to the videos folder. Let's set the output file path to home videos directory. Click on accept to change the output directory. Click on the box right of the file format to set the output format. I will choose the FFmpeg video option. Color it set to RGB. If you choose BW, the output will be in black and white. Click on the arrow on the left side of encoding. From the container, choose the desired output file format. I will choose MPEG-4 to make a MP4 type of file. The input file in the project was a WebM file. We can choose to export the edited video in any of these output formats. In the video codec section, I will retain the default H264. 
Tiara and WebM formats are also available. For output quality, I will choose lossless from the default of medium quality. Retain the encoding speed as good. We can also set the keyframe interval here. Right now it is at 18 and I will retain it. Next, let's set the audio properties for the exported video. In the audio codec pulldown, choose AAC. I will retain the default values of sample rate, bit rate and volume. Now, click on the render properties icon as seen here. It is the second icon from the top. Notice the render engine used here is EV. It is a real-time, on-the-fly rendering engine. Notice the several settings that are possible here including indirect lighting. Let's click on color management. I will retain the default for display device. Click open the pulldown for view transform. Many of you may use a regular video clip that you have recorded. If so, you may want to select another option. Click on film it and notice the color change in the preview panel. I will retain the standard here. Pause the video, choose the options and notice the changes. We can also change gamma and exposure. To change the values, left click, hold and drag. We can also enter a value of choice in the box. I will change them to the default value. Now, let's render to make the output file. Click on render, render animation. A new render window opens. On the top left side of the render window, Notice the progress in frame numbers. At the last frame, when rendering is completed, the progress will stop. As the render progresses, the video frames move to the end in the render window. Allow the process to be completed. My video is only 2 fps and the rendering is a fast process. Rendering time depends on the FPS of the video. Generally, videos are recorded with 25 to 50 FPS or more. Then rendering will take much longer time. I will close the render window as seen here. Click on the output properties. Let's scroll up the panel. On the top right, Next to dimensions, notice the list icon. It is for render presets. Click on it. We can render videos to preset formats such as PAL or NTSC. We can also save the settings we will be using to a new file. The dimensions of the render will be saved in this file. Click on the form for new preset and type first preset. Click on the plus sign next to it. A new preset gets added to the list. Users may use this condition later on if needed. The dimensions parameter will be saved in this file. It is the output parameter. Now I will save the project and exit Blender. Open the file manager. Go to the videos folder where the rendered file is saved. Notice the rendered mp4 file in the directory. We can open the file in a video player or on the web browser. Play the video and check if any changes are needed. If you wish to make more changes, do them and render again. Knowledge of shortcut keys are very useful. Few shortcut keys are shown here. Please study them. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about 
Render panel and setting, resolution, FPS and keyframe. Setting the directory for render, video and audio file formats. Rendered a video and created an output file. Created a render preset for dimensions. We also learned about a few shortcut keys. For assignment activity, please do the following. Using the video file assignment.webm provided in the code files link, render and save the video file. Practice and familiarize with the different output formats and settings. The file provided for assignment is downloaded from the site shown here. You may also use a video of your choice. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.